How's it going, Savage Life family? It looks like we are seeing history unfold itself now. Ethereum Classic dropped down all the way to a $40 price point and that's because it's following the overall market since the whole crypto market is getting cash taken out of its market capitalization as a whole bitcoin here i never thought i would see it at these price point levels and here we are at this thirty six thousand dollar price point levels so what does that mean it means that retail investors even though we do have a lot of new retail investors who are obviously panicking at the current moment due to this massive downwards trend that we are seeing the whales as well the big guys in suits are selling off now i missed my exit opportunity here yesterday around 11 o'clock i had an alert and i was gonna sell near this 88 dollar price range to buy back in at a low that i would have saw but i missed my exit so of course i'm just gonna have to hold on for now and let's play the long term now the more it dips the more i will continue to buy as my average cost will reduce now this is maybe i'd say an opportunity of a lifetime and i know it's very scary at the moment of course, there are a lot of you who are down thousands of dollars or panicking and don't know what to do. Now, you're going to have to realize what are you in it for? Are you in cryptocurrency to play the long haul? Because if you are not, then you're just going to have to sell at a loss and go make those profits somewhere in the dividend stock market or playing some options. But if you are in crypto for the long haul, then you should be doing a shopping spree at the current moment because seeing as Cardano did spike I doubt we're going to be able to see these prices again in the future moving forward now this is a huge correction all across the board but when I tell you when we see our next spike it's going to be bigger than anything we've ever saw before so Cardano I did pick up a couple Cardano at this $1.30 price point because I believe in the long-term aspects of Cardano now, whatever coin that you are invested in, whether if it's Ethereum or Bitcoin, now would be the time to buy. You want to buy when people are panicking all across the board. You want to react opposite of what people are reacting. And that's how you get ahead of the market and profit. Now, if people are selling, am I going to sell? No, I'm not going to sell because I'm not trying to follow market trends and miss out on a huge opportunity that could end up tenfolding my money in the future. So let's talk about it. What is going on now? China last night reiterated a warning against cryptocurrency use in transaction. Without singling out Bitcoin, the three industry groups said cryptocurrencies were not recognized by China's central bank and have been flagged for their financial risk as well as potential ties to money laundering. But we all knew this. When Bitcoin first started out, it was used in the deep web and people use Bitcoin because of its anonymity. People would use Bitcoin to buy drugs on the deep web, to buy guns, to hire Hitman, to do all sorts of illegal things. So why is China all of a sudden realizing that now? of course because there's more behind all of this now it benefits the big suits that they're able to sell at a profit realizing that crypto is currently tanking and buy back in or those who got into bitcoin when it was low at that thousand to ten thousand dollar price point are now starting to scoop up more once this sell-off bottoms out now as more people continue to wake up and see what is going on with crypto market all across the board we may continue to see sell-offs as of now so i would not jump to any actions at the current moment unless of course your average cost is lower than the crypto now then buying in ever so slightly would be a good choice as well those of you who caught etc at this 40 dollar price point congratulations to you because it seems to have spiked up ever since then now china said cryptocurrency should not be circulated as money and contracts involving their use are not protected by law so they issued a huge crackdown on all of cryptocurrency and to make things worse ladies and gentlemen a lot of crypto apps are not working 
because these apps just cannot keep up with this huge sell-off. Now, this is the first time that China banned Bitcoin. The same thing happened back in 2013 and 2017, and we saw a correction as well of people panicking because of the amount of investors in China and the news and media portraying to be a lot worse than what it really is. Now, China still declares both Bitcoin and Ethereum property and has legal rights. But you have to keep in mind, why does Bitcoin mining still exist in China? And if you are selling your cryptocurrency right now, who is buying? Because, of course, if you're selling crypto, there has to be a buyer out there who is buying that crypto that you're selling. So we're just seeing a lot of repercussions hand in hand come stacking up on top of each other with Elon Musk downplaying crypto, with China banning crypto, with Americans about to get another stimulus, which is these repercussions that we are saying, the CPI being released in April. All of this is adding to the huge correction that we are seeing now. And for those of you who are new investors, if you're not playing the long haul, then you should not be invested in crypto to begin with. Now, in my eyes, I'm seeing this as a huge shopping spree. If you guys ever wanted to buy ADA or Cardano when it was at this $2.30 price range, why are you not thinking about buying it now that it's at $1.40? Same with Dogecoin. If you're willing to buy at that $0.50, cent, $0.40 cent price range, why are you not willing to buy it now now, it's, now that it's at that $0.35, $0.30 cent price range? It's not like there's necessarily anything wrong with these cryptocurrencies, but it's just a overall FUD going on across the market. Now, if you guys don't know what FUD is, it's fear, uncertainty, and doubt. And people are doubting themselves. Now, you don't want to doubt yourself. You don't want to doubt your investment. As you can see, my grasp is very firm on Ethereum Classic. It could drop to $40.00. And myself, my family, we won't bat an eye. We've seen this before many times. And this here is actually an opportunity of a lifetime because I still have my firm belief that Ethereum Classic is going to break that $200 price point before the end of the year. And McIntyre, Donald McIntyre still has this firm belief that $900 to $1,000 is still attainable by the end of the year. Because when we receive that next bull run, it's going to be stronger than ever. So for those of you who were able to sell out at a profit or a loss, congratulations to you. Now, before buying into a crypto or commodity or a stock, take your time and tell yourself if you're going to be with that stock or that crypto through the ups and downs. Because if you're only with it through the ups and you're not willing to buy when it comes crashing down, then you are just following the hype at that moment and it will not be good for you in the long run. So there you have it for this quick little update for Ethereum Classic. I will be coming out with some extra videos today. I am looking into more and I'm keeping a sharp eye on Ethereum Classic just in case any more fluctuations happen or some extra news releases across all of board. There you have it. I still have my holdings. I'm negative at the current moment, but I'm not batting an eye. I'm going to go ahead and wait for this withdrawal to come through onto my crypto app so I can go on a shopping spree and pick up a couple cryptocurrencies at a discount at the current moment. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like as it helps with the YouTube algorithm and subscribe for more updates. I'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya.